Hello guys, welcome once again. In the last video, we have seen how to encrypt our data from the simple text to a cipher. In this video, we will see how to decrypt your data from cipher to the simple text. So we are going to press this decrypt button and when it's pressed, whatever is in this box which is in the form of encrypted script will be converted in once again into a simple script so for that I will take a text box to show the converted string once again and I will name it as simple text okay this one so here we will enter our first simple string it will encrypt when we press this button it get encrypted and when we press this button it is once again decrypted and show in this text box so let's get started just double click your decrypt button and in here in the method decrypt button event action perform method you will write here you will uh, write first memory stream cap and ms1 I will name it as ms1 variable is equal to gc new and this once again copy this memory stream and paste it here and break it closed and in the second line we have taken in the encryption also this line crypto stream stream cap cs1 this time last time we have taken cs this time cs1 gc new is equal to once again copy this paste it here bracket and bracket close and in here pass your ms1 variable which is this variable comma copy your des object which we have defined in the last video for encryption des obj from here paste it here then arrow pointer create create decryptor and comma in third part we will write crypto stream mode mode double quotes and here this time we will write the read method last time we have written here write because we were writing into the crypto stream stream and this time we are reading from the crypto stream and in the next line write copy your cs1 variable arrow pointer read bracket bracket closed and in here and in here you will pass your crypto bytes which we have defined in the last video 
and we which you can find in this um, encrypted uh, code also in the last video where is our crypto bytes so let's see here yeah, this one in the last line of the encryption code which I have shown you in the last video just copy that crypto bytes variable and paste in between this ms stream bracket and here also comma zero comma once again that cipher bytes variable and then its length so length and in the next line we will write we have defined two plain bytes variables one we have used last time and the next we will use right now so this we have used in encryption this we will use in decryption plain by two variable so come to a code once again and paste it here is equal to ms1 which is memory stream variable and arrow pointer to array bracket and bracket closed and then we will close our cipher stream so copy this paste this and write close and then we will close our memory stream so copy this and close this also okay and now we want to write our decrypted code into our text box so just copy the name of this text this text box name is simple text so I will copy it and paste it in my code and then write arrow pointer text is equal to encoding double colon ASCII arrow pointer get string bracket and bracket and just copy this plain by two variable and pass it here so this code we have written to dis decrypt our encrypted data now we are going to try our code and see if we have some error or we are good to go so run it and I think there is one error syntax errors so let's see what is it okay I have given two equal to here which I am not supposed to do so delete this equal sign here and once again try to run the code and it's running so I will enter my username and password which is correct and here I will write the simple simple text for example and I have pressed this encrypt button to encrypt my data this is my encrypted text which I have shown you in the last two videos how to encrypt your data and when I press this decrypt button my encrypted string will can give me a decrypted data which is this simple text once again so let's try and press this button yes it gives me simple text 
and this some garbage values because we have provided a padding to our uh, shipper in the last video if you know so this garbage will always come so in this way you can encrypt your data and decrypt your data with the help of visual c++ windows form application so i hope you have learned something new this time please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now